hi welcome to graphic island tutorial today we'll create product packaging design so here is a chips packet i'll cut this packet and take out manual measurement of this packaging design here you can see a line at the center from here to here this will consider as the front design if you look at the back then there are two sides in actual one from here to here this will come in one of the side and on the other side this part will come so according to this we'll create our die cut line here so let me cut this design from the center And in the sideline, I'll cut this joint as well. Using centimeter scale, let's do the measurement of the height. Total height of the design is 17.5 centimeter. Let me check out the length, how much the length is. I'll take measurement from here. I'll leave this joint up to here. It is 15 15 plus 12.2. So the length is 27.2 centimeter from here to here. It is 14 14.5. So here I'll write center 14.5 centimeter and the side and the back part is one side is 6.6.2 back side 6.2 centimeter so here we cut at the top so here I'll add uh, in the height plus 1.5 centimeter so this is the design uh, dimensions we have taken. Let's do the page setup for die cut printing. Change the unit to centimeter as we have measured in centimeter. And here give the dimension that we have measured manually for the height 19 centimeter. And change the color mode to CMYK. This is the printing color we are choosing. And create it. Now from the toolbar take this rectangular tool and here give the width dimension that is 27.2 is the safe area plus 2 cm is adding for the bleeding area. Similarly for the height 19 plus 2 cm and ok. Now align it horizontally and vertically center and remove the outline of the shape. Now take rectangular tool once again. And here input the design safe area dimension that is 27.2 and 19 centimeter in height. OK. And align horizontally and vertically center. Take rectangular tool once again. And this time give the dimension for the center design or the front design here. That is 14.5 in length and in height give 19 plus 2 centimeter which will cover the safe and the bleeding area. Now align it horizontally and vertically center and change the color. And here is the total dimensions we applied to our design so far. Now check out the sections we have added for product packaging die cut printing layout. Let's start with the front design. Take ellipse tool using shift alt key, drag it and make it a circle. Now change the color to black. And bring this one here. Align it horizontally and vertically. Select this one and change the color. Drag it inside and reduce the diameter and take towards upside. Now go to edit, copy, edit, paste in place. Drag it inside using shift alt key and change the color of this new circle. Take pen tool and draw a straight line using shift key. Now do multiple selection using shift key. 
now take shape builder tool and create a shape here delete unnecessary lines and the shape select the circle go to edit copy edit paste in place and drag inside using shift alt key change the color similarly copy paste in place and drag it once again inside and change the color select this one copy paste in place drag outside remove the fill color of the shape and keep outlines only now select it do copy paste ctrl c ctrl shift b and drag it outside using shift alt key again do copy paste and drag it outside similarly make one last now select them all unselect this using shift key using shape builder tool and picking a new color you can make a shape like this this way by changing color keep creating shapes here now delete those circular lines now select the shapes and remove the outlines select them all take shape builder tool pick a color and here create the bleeding area now let's create the sticky section of the design take rectangular tool here in width give 27.2 cm and in height give 1.5 cm this is the sticky sections of the chips packet i cut at the beginning of this video now center the shape and align it at the top of the artboard drag it using alt key make a duplicate and align it at the bottom of the artboard now select the sticky sections using shift key and change the color as like bleeding area let's change the color of the shapes you can apply your own color too let's draw a straight line at the top and bottom of the bleeding area and the sticky section using shape builder tool and the straight line you can make a shape like this at the center write the text add some text at the center of the design select them and bring at the center drag it down change the color to white and place it here using ellipse tool here draw a circle change the color now do copy paste of the circle and drag it inside using shift alt key and change the color do copy paste once again and drag it inside and change the color now let's add the price of the product now place it inside the new shape and drag it inside and make the size smaller and place at the center let's add the currency and place it here change the color Here also you can add few more details. Now select the circle, go to edit, copy, paste in place and drag it inside. Remove the fill color, keep outlines only. Take scissor tool and cut this circle at two different points. Delete the down curve take text tool and write at the top curve here reduce the text size from here and write the text here drag this limit to the end type type on a path align to center change the color
open this character and change the font let's increase the space between the text select the circle and apply the gradient color add two different color combination here and now choose the radial effect now it is perfect using rectangular tool here at the bottom draw a rectangle and here give the outline change the outline color to green now take ellipse tool and draw a circle at the center change the color to green and here write the text take the text little down and change the font bring it more down now let's open the lace logo and other decorative elements it looks perfect now open the chips vector file drag it to our artboard and place it here double click here and change the position take it up to here now drag it using alt key make a duplicate and let me delete one of the chips now let's add some potato slide shapes on our design and place it here let's bring this tomato shape to our design let's add red chili shape to our design drag it and bring it to our artboard and leave it here so here apply the effect rearrange the text position and bring it here now let's create the back design bring this one at the top and place it here using alt key drag the lace logo and place it here drag it down now take rectangular tool and here draw the rectangle so inside these rectangles uh, we'll write the instructions suppose give number one and place it here change the rectangle color to yellow and write the instruction text inside this rectangular box and change the color now take direct selection tool and drag one of the corner point and make a shape like this now drag this using alt can make a duplicate Control d and repeat it edit the numbers like one two three right in sequence here also add few more text in the back design one side you can add the company details let's add the barcode of the company and on the other side of the back design you can add the product description and the nutrition details here I am using the sample text as this video is for tutorial purposes by using grid tool here create a nutrition table and place this one here 
now let's edit this table double click here select the line using right arrow key take it towards right hand side now it is perfect now select the table and expand it after expanding take shape builder tool and unite this and here write the nutrition related information change the color of the table and fill the complete table with the text using rectangular tool here draw a rectangle and remove the fill color give outlines only now write the text inside write more text at the down let's add facebook and twitter icons to our design and arrange them and write the text follow us our design is ready now go to file export save for web and save the design click on save now open the photoshop software we'll apply the mockup file open the design and the packaging mockup double click at the smart object of the mockup file and new tab will be open now drag our design to the new tab of the mockup and leave it here drag it and make the shape bigger in size and place perfectly within the mockup shape drag our design layer at the down and here you can see where we are placing our design now it looks perfect mark it unmark the mockup background close the tab yes and wait for the mockup to be applied once the mockup will processed we can see the realistic view of our packaging design now let's check it and here is the final result hope you understand the complete process of product packaging design and here i am abul mansoor wish you all the best see you next video have a nice day